today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is the National Football League. see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New York Jets and the Los Angeles Rams. Turn Corey Valentine. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. The Jets' offense ready for their first possession, and they are led by the 23 year old from USC in his third year now, quarterback Sam Darnold. Year three now of Sam Darnold being the starting quarterback with the New York Jets. And as you might expect, some ups and downs along the way. That's what happens with young quarterbacks. Last year, 19 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, had to play through some sickness and injury. But the Jets really believe in this guy and showed it by upgrading their offensive line in order to get him more protection moving forward. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Run there by Frank Gore, and he has to be one of the most admired players in the NFL. Started the 2020 season, number three all-time on the rushing list, less than 1,400 yards shy of Walter Payton as the season kicked off. Spent a year with Coach Adam Gase in Miami. Now he's hooked back up with him again with the New York Jets. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Gore. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And they'll try the air now with Donald. Pass incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. The shotgun here's Darnold and it's caught by Herndon and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling it's another first down and that's well executed there on third down and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision and QBs love to make that easy throw and they hooked up there for a first down Yeah. 
So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Back to the ground game here. Gore. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Behind the chain, second and 13. Here's Gore on the toss right. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. Yeah, that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Rams ready to take over on offense, and they will do so by the first overall pick in the 2016 draft. Now he's in season number five out of Cal. It's Jared Goff. Well, it's not unusual for a team to have a little bit of a letdown after appearing in the Super Bowl. And the Rams had that Super Bowl letdown after their loss in Super Bowl 53 to New England. But it might surprise people that quarterback Jared Goff still finished third in the NFL in passing yards at better than 4,600. They just want to see him cut down on the number of interceptions he threw last year. And they think the Rams can elevate their offense yet again. In on the stop that time, Terrell Basham. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A shotgun snap for goal. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Omosu. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon, intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. So from the 36 now, first and 10. After the interception, here's Darnold. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now the former Terrapin, this is Todd Johnson. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. He's got this one complete to Perriman. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Okay. 
So on fourth down, Adam Gase turns to the field goal unit. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hatch. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we've got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they've ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. Well, let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them. They did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Nothing after one on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. <laughs> Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. His throw incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully, 
that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. And the open receiver, it's Robert Williams. Touchdown, LA! Robert Woods, 51 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead. And sometimes those slants... They can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it just happens so quickly. And really, it what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. touchdown here's gay to kick it away Valentine to return and he won't quite make it to the 25 Been there, done. the New York set to take the field and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you've described it not ideal but they'll take it anything to put some points on the board but this time on offense they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone yeah, they'll be going for six this defense is really flown around in the first half they've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Darnold from the gun. Flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They stop him short of the first at the 32. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Webster now to return. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. L.A. readies for its next possession. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't listen. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, 
runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. A big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. Got a man over the middle, it's Rollins. He's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Henderson now on first and ten. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Guys, man, complete over the middle. It's Woods. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now golf on first down. Complete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Golf. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And the pressure again, and down he goes again. Jordan Jenkins providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and that leads to a play action sack. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. New York ready to go again offensively. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. you think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Second and nine from the 44. Here's Darnold, looking for Perriman there, he's got him. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. down Darnold throw complete to Herndon and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down and offensively they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter so on second down the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half from the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And uh, it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started on the return it's Simba Webster and he gets it out to the 25 yard line flag down this could set him back now have him call set him up with not great field position not at all when you tack on the penalty but that field position after the return wasn't terrific it's not a great starting field position as well. Open man is Higby, the tight end. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. 
from the 27. Goff. Over the middle, complete. That's Woods. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 22 yards there, a first down. throw and catch but even with that completion zero yards gained so they're behind schedule on down and distance I think they were hoping to get it to him he can make a man or two miss but that window closed quickly <laughs> to throw again on second down golf and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Faking the give, Darnold. He's going to look deep for Perriman. Picked off at the 39. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? And it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's gone. They find Henderson there. It's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of ten. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. They'll run on first down. Henderson. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Here's gone. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Gone. Open man is Henderson, that's complete. And he's gonna have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're gonna utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off play action. Here's Goff. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Play action supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again is gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To the air again. Golf. The Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And they work this out past the 25. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. On first and 10, Darnold. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon. That'll bring up second down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now on second down, this is good. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead. And they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Donald. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now an option play on second down. A quick throw out wide, caught by Crowder. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 11. To the air again, Darnold. Out right here to Herndon. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on to kick it away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And this is gonna carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. They might wanna mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery has been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there frustrating for a defense energizing for an offense finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game that'll make the guys carrying the ball very very happy this is third and two maybe the biggest play in this football game out of the gun gone and able to find Higby it's complete and he's going to have first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection.
On first down, it's Henderson. He fades the tackle and has some space. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. the toss with Henderson and he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37 now the objective there I mean yes the positive gain that's nice but work some clock yeah you're exactly right but the problem for them is still within a possession so they can't just sit on it running the ball they'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Henderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. in there to get him for a loss of nine yards and that also leads to fourth down Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And that one hits at the seven but bounds into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Darnold and the Jets now down seven to three. A little under a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. He finds Smith out of the backfield. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Brandon, it's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Now it's Darnold. 
And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Back to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. One last throw now for Darnold. Forced out to his left. And now look at this. Big game by Fumble. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football. Low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.